Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on the Heavy Hitters Hard Padding Boxing Gloves. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Heavy Hitters Hard Padding Boxing Gloves. Got mine in the black colorway, 14 ounces in a Velcro closure. You can also get these in white, lace up anywhere between eight and 16 ounces. Now, Heavy Hitters is a brand that's based out of South Korea. The gloves themselves are manufactured in Pakistan using full genuine leather construction. If you've been a subscriber to my channel, then you probably have seen the video reviews I did on um, the other models, the Undisputed as well as the Champion. And I've always been a huge fan of heavy hitters, uh, just for the simple fact that they give you great value for the money, great bang for the buck, in terms of great quality, comfort, protection, and performance. And um, those previous models like the Undisputed, to me were kind of like a um, punch equipment, Fuerte Ultra Glove, uh, which are both kind of like a Japanese winning inspired glove. Um, the big thing about the Undisputed and even the Champion models though is that it, had very stock, it has very soft padding, especially over the knuckle area. And for certain people that's great, but some, some people don't like that. Me personally, I love having that soft or broken in padding because I love to feel my knuckles really pierce through the glove to make contact. Uh, but some people need a little bit more support, a little bit more protection, they, they want more denser padding a little bit more shock absorption. Um, so to me, this was Heavy Hitter's answer to that, the hard padding glove. And when you're looking at this design-wise, there's a couple of key differences between this particular model, the, the hard padding model, than any of the gloves in the Heavy Hitter's lineup. This is not simply a, a, a champion or an undisputed model with different padding. They actually redesigned the entire structure of the glove, which we'll show you here in a second. But you can definitely tell that the padding over the knuckle area is definitely much denser than any of the other models that Heavy Hitter has in their lineup. What it feels like is they utilize multi-layer foam padding, but on this top layer, the layer that's gonna make contact uh, with whatever surface you're striking, it feels like a piece of dense EVA. So essentially, it feels like EVA, and it kind of reminds me of like the rival Guerrero HDEF gloves. You know, um, those gloves to me have an actual piece of EVA foam that's laminated to the inside of the leather on, in the glove. And I feel like this is very similar to that and you definitely get uh, much more shock absorption with this glove and more protection. So looking at this design wise, you can see the leather itself has kind of that uh, semi-gloss finish to it. it. Looks really nice. It does have some dirt and some scuffing there for me using the gloves. You have the standard Heavy Hitters logo on the back of the glove as well as the plastic patch and a three and a half inch Velcro strap. It says heavy, heavy hitters, hard padding Velcro, 14 ounce weight tag right there. Uh, rotating to the palm side, it does say HP for hard padding. Again, the leather Velcro strap, yeah, the palm side. Let's go ahead and open this up so you can actually see the, the inside. And then very winning like with the dark navy blue liner, uh, polyester satin liner on the inside. You do have the weight in there where the, the manufacturer tags and whatnot. And you also have the in the actual um, writing, the warning labels is both in English and in Korean. So that's pretty cool to have. It's bilingual. You do have the elastic in the middle, double stitching throughout, piping around the thumb. So nothing too crazy or revolutionary there. Um, padding, you have about, I'd say a quarter of an inch on the inside of the hand or should I, inside a palm, and the same thickness all the way up here to this double stitching. On the back of the wrist, you have about, I'd say, maybe a half inch of padding, and it's a softer padding against your hand, denser padding on the exterior. Coming up to the thumb area, you do have an attached thumb. A really good size grip bar that has a good amount of density to it. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. Now, one thing you'll notice with this glove is it has a more of a, a profile of a pro fight glove, which I love. So I love the fact that they changed basically the design and the structure of this glove compared to the 
uh, champion or even the undisputed glove. So if you have a pair of those gloves at home, these are very different than those. This has a much more uh, slender, slimmer feel. It's a more compact. Uh, the cuff is a little bit longer, excellent thumb positioning, uh, but it just has a much slimmer compact profile. And it really reminds me of like Grant Salvador and those Mexican style, like no boxing, no life. They all share the similar uh, type of, of profile. Like, you know, no boxing, no life, Salvador, Grant, uh, leaders, you know, whoever, um, even uh, uh, new sporting, you know, that come with the fight gloves. They have kind of that rounded off punch surface in terms of just the, the shape of it, a slimmer profile. So it's not a very wide glove, nice parallel thumb. Um, so it does resemble that in my opinion, which I absolutely love. And I'll tell you about that here in, in, as far as the comfort goes. Um, quality on these gloves are excellent, man. I mean, you know, the leather on, on here is really nice quality. You can see it's very thick. My main concern is gonna be the wrinkling that you're gonna get. Anytime you, you put a denser or a more rigid type of material on the leather, especially across the punching surface, and which I, like I said earlier, I think this is EVA. Um, I feel that it's gonna, it doesn't have as much flexibility in terms of the leather. So if you do get these gloves, I feel it's gonna be really important to really use the leather conditioner to keep the leather pliable and get any kind of like sweat or salt off the glove. Uh, but you can see the stitching is done nicely. The symmetry on the logo looks great. Uh, the stitching looks fantastic. You know, you can see the bonded leathers is, or the padding is bonded nicely to the inside leather. Uh, look, I mean, look how straight the stitching is on that across this palm looks great the attached thumb area between the thumb and the index finger looks great um, padding on the thumb feels great and uh, I have a little bit of I don't know if that's thread that's just like a little piece of hair or something right there but overall I mean you can see it's done very clean uh, the back of the velcro looks good um, I, would go, I, I would say that would be nice if maybe they recess this plastic patch because it does have that edge to it um, so if I were to use these for sparring, um, the lace-up version doesn't have this, obviously, because it's lace-up. But if you were to use these Velcro versions for sparring, I would definitely uh, tape these over. Um, and you can see the liner looks great. Everything is done very cleanly with this glove. Um, the weight on these gloves, when I weighed it, this is a 14-ounce glove as advertised. And I believe this glove came in at right at 13.7 ounces. So a little underweight, but not by much, but the gloves are exactly on point with weight with each other so that was great to see um, and you can see the glove itself again very well balanced distribution of weight is definitely there you don't have a, a, a saggy kind of glove which is a really nice uh, comfort of the glove now compared to the other models of heavy hitters and again I'm, I'm using that kind of as a comparison because this is the first model of theirs that is designed this way is definitely more a much more compact glove and I definitely enjoy it. I prefer it. I love the way it feels, um, but you're not afforded as much room as other models. So one thing I would keep in mind is if you have larger hands, I would definitely go with a larger size, like 16 ounces. I got mine in 14 with hand wraps on. It's a little bit on the snug side, um, but it does it de definitely breaks in over time because the leather has some pliability to it, so it'll stretch out. But the thumb positioning is perfect. Uh, the piping feels good around the thumb. Um, a nice deep finger compartment and that liner they use in here is really nice, soft and silky. The positioning of the grip bar is exactly where it needs to be at. And it has a pretty much a kind of like a, a semi broken in feel with this glove. So the only thing I would be concerned with is if you have larger hands, keep in mind that this runs a little bit smaller than the other models that heavy hitters offers like the undisputed and champion. I would say that they're a little bit bigger than a fight glove. So anywhere between, like I say, a fight glove and a training glove, is to me where the sizing of this glove sits. Uh, protection and performance wise, the support on your wrist feels really good for a traditional hook and loop glove. You, you do have the two pieces of foam that go on the inside portion of your, uh, of your wrist. The cuff is slightly longer than the Champion and the Undisputed gloves and you have that back padding that gives you some support there. Obviously it's not going to compare or be the same like, a, to, like an Onyx X-Factor or a Rival glove with the Ergo strap or that V-strap system. But for what it is, it does a really nice job. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is there's actually a piece uh, of rolled padding that goes over the stitching so you don't feel the stitching. And you can make a really nice tight fist with these gloves. Uh, that EVA foam, which I'm assuming that they use, does a really good job of protecting your hands. You get really nice pop when you land on the bag with these. 
but compared to the Undisputed and the Champion models, your, your knuckles don't pierce right through because of that extra layer of that hard padding they utilize with these gloves. So uh, excellent pop, pretty good feedback, just better for shock absorption. Cost-wise, these gloves cost $119 which I think is, is a great deal. I mean, if you're looking at it from the perspective of other gloves in this price range or even more, for the quality that you're getting, that slimmer profile, that kind of reminds me of a Mexican style pro fight glove with a more compact kind of narrow profile to it. Really nice thumb, great padding, um, really nice quality for $119. I mean, you're, you really can't beat it in terms of bang for the buck. Um, you know, I can envision when I do my top 10 list uh, for 2022 um, that this will probably break the top 10. Where it's going to be at, it's going to be hard to say because I have a whole uh, another, what is it, March right now, and a whole another um, nine months to go before I make that list because it has to be towards the end of the year. But I could definitely envision this glove being uh, in the top 10. Um, and even lower than that. So uh, definitely a great glove. One thing I hope they do make with this glove is more colorways uh, than just black and white. Um, you know, just like the other line of glove, they have multiple colorways, red, blue, white, orange, uh, you name it, and that would be really cool. But I definitely foresee this glove uh, being a really great model for the already great heavy hitters lineup. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these heavy hitters, hard padding boxing gloves. See you guys later. Take care.